that's it? This can't be happening. That's right. Your favorite character has just died. Congratulations. You have just entered the first stage of grief for the death of a fictional friend. Denial. Naturally, you will deny the death at first, searching the TV, movie, book, etika, for signs of life, but to no avail. I know it will help. With these fake glasses, I'm sure to be found what I'm looking for. Wait. Now desperate, you may start to search for supplemental material in fan fiction where your character actually lives, but be careful because they also may get into some emotionally scarring situations. Not that I know from experience or anything. Due to the limited amount of fan fiction, fan art, wikia form, you will run out of material. And when that happens, the only thing left to do is to stalk the writers and harass them until they bring the character back, but obviously that's not gonna work. Theories of this character's survival will become thinner and thinner and more ludicrous. And there comes a point where you just need to face the facts. He or she is not coming back. Well, the future is looking very grim. So you've made it to stage two. Sadness. In this stage, your heart has most likely not only been crushed, but also stomped on, shredded, and put through a blender. Yay! Keep in mind that in this stage, the harder you binged on this show, the more intense the pain is going to be. Sorry. <laughs> Just one more, one more. Ep epi season. And then I'll go to bed. <laughs> Remember, just because the character's not real, doesn't mean the feelings aren't. The best way to try and numb the pain is the same as any disappointment, ice cream. Although it should be noted this isn't actually going to solve anything. That won't happen until... The sun is too beautiful and happy. <laughs> you start to feel a boiling in your gut. What is the use of sadness anyway? This show was stupid. And you know you have reached the anger stage. What do the writers know anyway, you ask yourself? They're stupid, plain and simple. How does anyone like this show? Why does it even have a following? How did you ever like this show? You can throw things? No, I'm so sorry. Why did you have to leave me though? badmouth the show, write seething blog posts, and make fun of fans at your own risk, of course. Dude, I don't understand how people can like Harry Potter. It's not even that good of a story. And the characters, I mean, they're so generic. <laughs> how could anyone ever like that? Say that again, fool! Whoa! No, no need to, to freak out. But, who are we kidding? This tiny current infinity, this universe, is your everything. And your best friend just died. You should now be emotioned out. This brings us to the loss phase. A bottomless pit of emptiness should now consume you. Don't freak out. Okay, so how excited are you for Suicide Squad to come out? Uh, see, it has the potential to be really good, but it could also go pretty poorly. Yeah, I suppose you got a point, easily. but have you heard 21 Pilots Heathens? That's really good. Not necessarily my type of thing, but I'm okay. still excited for um, the movie. Why? <gasps> Hang on. Why? Are you okay? I'm in mourning. But Dude, that book came out like... He's... He's... Oh, so come long here, go, go. Um, okay. oh, oh. There, there. The world is okay. too joyful for my black heart. No! You will vow never to watch TV again, never pick up another book, or watch another movie. You can try to fill your blackened heart by smothering yourself in pillows, but you will always be missing something. Yep, a best friend to share it with. Thankfully, we have nearly come to the end. Sooner or later, as you're mindlessly scrolling through your interweb, Netflix, Tumblr, or your IRL, friends, are bound to recommend a new series for you that you might enjoy, to get your mind off things. 
And so, you are overjoyed. The final stage of this endless cycle is joy. Before you know it, you're on season 3, episode 10, on page 426 of this new wonderful world you will immerse yourself in. A new fandom, new fan art, new fan fiction, new forums and debates, and maybe chatting with people in the outer net. <laughs> or maybe not. You have now been gifted with a brand new group of friends. I, I hate to burst your bubble, but read what happens on page 427. And so, another name has been added to this ever-lengthening list of beings that made your life complete and then were violently ripped from your arms. Congratulations! You have now entered a never-ending cycle. Have fun! Or rather, good luck. It, it was nice knowing you. But in all honesty, not every story kills off its characters. Now, without spoilers, there is really only one way to know if this will be a life ruining series, and that is to watch it and then die internally, slowly, as it happens. If you enjoyed this video, or you also agree that there should be something like fictional catastrophe rehab, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be reminded when I post new videos, and I will see you again one day. Goodbye, friends, family, countrymen, Romans. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna stop. Yeah.